I think blockchain is going to be a very critical technology for the future development of the world. It's not only ab about financing. Blockchain technology is not about bitcoins. Bitcoin is just a small function of the blockchain technology. I'm a strong believer of the blockchain technology. This is not about Bitcoin or digital currencies or crypto assets. It's the underlying blockchain technology. Now people can trust each other and they can transact with anything from money to uh, music to votes to uh, their identities peer to peer. Bitcoin is either MySpace or it's Facebook, I don't know. But blockchain is social media. So at the macro, blockchain is going nowhere, right? Like blockchain is here to stay forever, and it's a very big deal. Enter blockchain. Satoshi Nakamoto, 2008, anonymous person, came up with this way of people transacting, doing business with assets peer to peer and trust is not achieved by a middleman, it's achieved by cryptography, by collaboration, and by some clever code. And what that means is that we now have a native digital medium for value. Effectively a software. Okay, I mean, so, so it's a what? distributed database that's managed independently and that inherently, that inherent combination makes it a utility, makes it software effectively that has value in utility. The business world of the future, say 10 years from now, is going to run on smart contracts, it's going to run on strong encryption and on you know peer-to-peer -peer based consensus mechanisms. So the core technologies underlying blockchain are going to pervade everything just like the internet has, just like object-oriented software has right now. So the choice, when I talk to people, I said, what do you think will be here in 2040, approximately 22 years from now? Will gold still be here? Well, it's been here since eternity. <laughs> well, will the dollar will the dollar be here? Right. I don't think so. And, and, and will blockchain be here? I think so. We think of Bitcoin as a digital gold, so gold 2.0, but it's money, the first type of money that was ever built purposely for the internet. So it's sort of like what your email did to snail mail. Um, cryptocurrency or Bitcoin does for money? Well, Bitcoin is exciting because it shows how cheap it can be. Uh, Bitcoin is, is better than currency in that uh, you don't have to ha be physically in the same place. And of course, for large transactions, currency can, can get pretty inconvenient. The customers we're talking about aren't trying to be anonymous. You know, they're willing to be uh, known. So. It, 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 the Bitcoin technology is key, and you could add to it or you could build a similar technology uh, where there's enough attribution that people feel comfortable. This has nothing to do with uh, terrorism or uh, any type of, of money laundering. It's still very early. Um, institutions, everybody knows about it, everyone's heard about it, and there's some very sophisticated people in even these banks who know about cryptocurrency, but they're still not really in the game yet. It's still very much a retail driven market, um, very much a lot of the actions out in Asia. So we, we still think it's the bottom of the first inning. It's If you read this book, you understand how we got here and how far it's come, but it's also just sort of the beginning in a lot of ways. Well, I think it is working. Um, and. Uh, there will be other currencies like it that may, may be even better. Um, but in the meantime, um, there's a big industry around Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. and, um, you know, people have made fortunes out of Bitcoin. Some people have lost money out of Bitcoin. Um, it's volatile. Hmm? It's volatile. Yeah, but it is quite volatile. But, um, but you know, when in volati volatility, people can make money out of volatile. So where I see crypto as effectively as a replacement for cash but not as a replacement for, as a primary, uh, not, not as, I do not see crypto being the primary database.
I would say there's a lot of uh, need for developers even at the core protocol layer. Mm -hmm. So things like improving protocol scalability, uh, working on the client implementations, implementations of uh, things like proof of stake. Mm -hmm. um, layer two systems, things like state channels and plasma could probably use a lot more smart people. Um, on the application stuff, I mean, I guess you could always use more, but there's probably quite a lot more of that already.